Hello, today we are doing another video on the Grease Weasel. So, in my previous video I showed you a quick setup of how to read some discs off of this. And today, as the title says, we're going to be doing the opposite. We're going to be writing some discs to this. I've got myself a blank disc. And what are we going to actually copy? Well, I've got the Amiga Addict magazine and now and then they provide an ADF file with a whole bunch of games and stuff on here. They even give you a nice little sticker as well so you can uh, put the sticker on the disc and it feels like you have a cover disc on the magazine like in the old days. So, I'm going to show you how to, on the Grease Weasel, get an ADF file onto a disc. So, let's get cracking. Now, before we start, I'm just going to mention a jumper that is set on the Grease Weasel. This allows us to do writing of discs. If for some reason you know that you never are going to write a disc and you're only going to be archiving and therefore reading discs, you can take that jumper out and then that basically protects the device from ever writing a disc. So it's an extra form of um, protection that you won't accidentally write over an important disc. So I've already downloaded uh, the cover disc from Amiga Addict magazine and I've got it there in my downloads. As my previous video, I used Fluxmy Floppy uh, program GUI and I'm going to use that again just to help me out so let's load that up and we'll work from the top again so it's still selecting the GW uh, file I'm using COM3 I'm using drive B because I've got a straight through uh, floppy drive cable and instead of the read tab we're now going to the write tab with that selected we go to name and we need to find the type of disc that we need. So it's Commodore Amiga 880K double density that we're choosing. Leaving that on internal. I know that the disc is an ADF, so it's Amiga DOS formatted. And then the important thing at the bottom is that I need to make sure source file, we're selecting our disc. So I'm choosing the file I've downloaded. Click on open. There we go. Now, if we have a look at the bottom, you can see the command that it is produced for us. So instead of read, we've got the write command. We're selecting the type of device that we've got, drive B, then format. It's saying that it's amiga.amiga.dos formatted disk, and then it's basically given the path of the ADF. So without further ado, let's put our blank disk in there. Please, please make sure that that disc is what you want to be wiped because everything will be wiped from there. So don't have anything important on that disc. I know that that's a blank disc. And then I'm going to hit the right. Drive becomes live. And then we'll see from the command line that it is right in tracks. Now, if you get any error messages, it might mean that the disk is faulty or it might mean that that jumper isn't set correctly and it's, it's locking you out. And it will come up with some error message saying that it can't verify the writing. So let's wait until we get up to track 80 and then hopefully we'll have a disk. There we go. And we've got the message saying that all tracks have been verified. So our disk is now complete. We should be able to take that out. What I'm also going to do is peel off this nice label that the magazine provided. And then let's get that stuck on to this disk. There we go. Looks very nice. Let's copy white protect it. Well, does this work? Let's go over to the Amiga 1200 and actually try it out. So without further ado, let's put the disc into the drive and power on the Amiga. Okay, and I've been trying out this disc 
I think there's something weird with their menu that they've got because I've had to press enter in order for it to then load up the cover disc menu. But I think that the disc has recorded correctly because yeah, we're getting this far. And then yeah, we've got the screen here. So we've got three games to choose from. And if I press F1, I notice that it doesn't work. So if I press F1 again, the third time, yeah. And then finally it works. So uh, yeah, something weird with this menu. Um, I don't know what you're doing, Amida Addict, but um, yeah, that seems a little bit junky, this disc. Um, okay, and then yeah, we've got the game. So that all worked, fantastic. So I'll tell you what, let me know in the uh, comments if you want to see me play some of these games and try out, out some of this stuff. Be interested to know. But there we go, that is our ADF converted to a real disc and loaded up on my Amiga 1200. So, and that's using the Grease Weasel of V4. Thank you for watching. Obviously, I've got loads of other Amiga content on my channel. Uh, so if this is all new to you, check it out because I've got loads of stuff on like real Amiga stuff and also emulation as well if you haven't got the real Amiga. So don't worry. Thank you for watching and uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you've, this has been useful to you. And I will hopefully see you in another video. Take care, everybody.